Is it just me, or have you ever just looked at your older games in the collection and thought how much fun it would be to play all those favourite games again with trophy and achievement support? Well, good news everyone! Thanks to the amazing team over at Retro Achievements, they have a large variety of older games that have achievement support. With how well the Simpsons and Family Guy videos have done, we've had many requests for another iconic TV series that was made into a playable game to be covered. No, 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 not that game. Well, maybe eventually. I'm talking about one of the rarest titles on the PlayStation 2, the Shut Futurama up, video game. In today's video, we'll get to to experience the Futurama world and everything it has to offer. We get to play as Fry, Bender, Leela, and even Zoidberg out of all characters. We have some hilarious scenes to watch, get to visit many iconic areas from the show, and aim for every collectible in the game. Which, yeah, there's a lot, it was a PlayStation 2 game. But I won't keep you any longer, let's dive straight into this fantastic franchise, earning all 88 achievements, and experience the Lost Futurama episode that was turned into a video game. Joining the team at Planet Express, we have some very big news from Professor Farnsworth and his very stylish sombrero. He delivers the news that he has decided to sell the Planet Express company to Mum. He's been losing money by only delivering one package at a time, and the Planet Express team hasn't been charging anyone. Plus, you three never actually charged anyone! Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry. Midway through the discussion, Fry turns on the TV to find out that the world has come to an end. Mum has purchased Planet Express and now owns 50% of the Earth, which has led her to becoming the supreme ruler. Also, you're all my slaves, and anyone who doesn't report for duty before curfew tonight will be blasted by Hoverbot Death Troopers! With our new knowledge that Mum has enslaved humanity, Leela has taken charge and has decided to fly out the crew to somewhere safe. As we get to the ship, we've discovered it's been all wanged up, causing us to be stuck on planet Earth. Oh no! The ship's all wanged up! Who could have done such a thing? It wasn't me this time, I swear! No matter. We need to repair the ship and we need to do it fast. Leela, you start banging on the control panel. I'm on it. Bender, you'll have to bend the ship back into shape. Man, how come I always have to do all the bending around here? And Fry, you... Uh, what exactly do you know how to do? I can burp the alphabet. <coughs> A, B, D. No, wait. I've got a mission for you, Fry. Find a hammer. Yes, sir. Here it is, we're in. Futurama the game with achievements. We have to find the hammer, which I believe kills us. There's the hammer. Uh, we will be doing a little bit of exploring. There's a few achievements for the first level. But we'll pick up the hammer, which is the cutscene where I think it kills him. <laughs> Yeah, uh, game over. <laughs> yeah, I always remember that as a kid. Oh, what happened? You were crushed under two tons of debris. And you died! <laughs> it was so funny! <laughs> I guess you had to be there. As Fry has been resurrected, the professor introduces us to his new invention, the Reanimator. This toaster-looking device generates an exact duplicate of the character, allowing us to die over and over again without any consequences. Now that the Professor has experimented with his new invention by killing Fry, he is no longer needing the hammer. What he does need, though, is the missing tools from his tool rack. We need to collect these tools for the Professor so he can fix the ship. So we'll go around, we'll have a look for uh, all those tools. I think there is a uh, achievement for opening up all the, the lockers. Uh, you got vendors. Of course he's got money. There's Hermes locker. Oh, there's a nibbler in here. I didn't know that. So that's everyone's locker. I think we need to find Bender. I think that's the next one. Oh, it's Bender. <laughs> I quit touching my junk, pervert. Look through all the staff lockers and walk in on Bender. <laughs> that's the first uh, achievement of the game. I think this is Hermes. Yeah, that's right. He's got the... <laughs> the brainwashing alien on his head. Taking our time exploring Planet Express, we eventually allocate all the tools. Each tool is placed in a different area, getting us familiar with the gameplay. Getting through this section quite quickly, we can now continue on with the story. Wonderful! All my tools are back in place, even the ones I didn't need. Ones you didn't need? Oh, <laughs> sadly though, there was one part I was unable to repair. Not the Dark Matter Engine, not the Dark Matter Engine. The Dark Matter Engine. Ah, oh, crap. After discovering that the ship's Dark Matter Engine is beyond repair, and learning that the Professor pawned the backup power engine, we now need to retrieve it from the pawn shop. We've been gifted a weapon, and have been instructed to travel through the sewers to avoid curfew, but Fry wasn't too fond of this idea. But, but, but what about the sewer mutants? <laughs> I gave you a gun. What do you want, a flowered dress? Now stop being a wussy and get going! 
Hey, return all Professor Farnworth to and Planet Express. Finding ourselves exploring the sewers, we take on some mutants, get through the collectibles, and go about some platforming. My memory for this level is crazy. The amount of times I replayed this level as a kid because I didn't have a memory card. One thing about this level that still hasn't changed after all these years is the poor platforming. Oh, I remember this area. This area was shocking. Trying to navigate around this was horrible as a kid. No! Oh! I keep getting caught on the, the Circle X controls. I don't know why they did that. We finally made it. From what I believe, we need to only use charge attacks in this area for this checkpoint. And then we should get a uh, achievement. Okay. Oh, I got him. Oh, finally. After many attempts, this achievement was just not possible for Hammer and the number of mutants spawning. I didn't want to take too long in this section, so I left it for the next playthrough. But to my surprise, it actually worked out in the end. This is too many. I was not going to get this done. Oh, starting a sewers checkpoint using only heavy attacks. Maybe the gun is a heavy attack? I don't know how I got that. That's all right. I'm not complaining. That was just too tough. I would not have been able to get that done with the hammer. With that difficult achievement completed, our next objective was to finish the level. Which wasn't all that bad. We did restart a few times as it was easy to misjudge ledges and the change in button layout made it more of a challenge also. As for the next level, we find ourselves underneath the subway. We had the standard wave of enemies to get through, collect everything in that level, and try out the new weapon, which was a shotgun. I'll quickly highlight the collectibles here. Every level will contain the character's currency. Fry has money, Bender has Robonium, which is his birthstone, and I don't know why, Leela has gold. The amount of currency to collect can vary on how large the level can be, and we also have nibblers to collect too. They're pretty easy to find. With that now explained, let's get to the next section in the video. All right, that should be a checkpoint, I'm guessing. Was that the end of the level? Ah, yeah, it was. Hey, complete subway, full nibblers collected, exit the subways of New York. Now that we're in old New York, we have some enemies to defeat and, well, our first problem in the game. Oh, no! Ah, oh, the problems! Dude! As we restart the game and the magical power of editing, we make our way through old New York. We were aiming for another achievement called Spray and Pray. This is for defeating 20 enemies without using lock-on with your weapon. I spent easily 30 minutes on this level and I kept dying and kept getting the streak reset. I finally gave up and decided to leave that achievement for another day. That was a really tough level and I didn't even get any achievements. Man. It's, oh, we got a Tommy gun. Hell yeah. That's so crazy how much ammo it takes. It's just a massive shootout in the district area. Oh, it's the phone booth. Oh, the suicide booth. For gags, we have to go in there, surely. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny that she works. Bring it on, baby. Oh. Okay, I never got up to this part as a kid, so we're in the, the brothel. Definitely a kid's game. Topless alien chicks. <laughs> Coin laundry. Was that the end of the level? Mm hmm. Complete a red district with at least 25 kills. Gun your way out of the red light district. Now that we're in Uptown, we have another shootout with Fry and Mum's robot army. As you do fighting a robot army, we've built up an appetite. Oh, cool. We can go into a sushi shop. Oh, that's sick. That's so cool. I rate that. He's cooking up some fish. What you got there, boy? Oh, that ain't fish. Now, this is why you always want to use cast iron cookware. After getting something to eat, all we had left in the level was the collectibles. We had some light platforming and enjoyed the level design. I thoroughly enjoyed this area playing through the game again. It felt really fleshed out and it really reminded me of the first episode where Fry explores the future. Finding our way at the end of the level, we defeat some more robots and find a chicken mech. Alright, let's go into the big chicken mech suit, whatever it's wow, a called. Chicken walker. A Let's chicken walker. Alright. Yes! Complete uptown with at least 33 kills. Nibblers collected. All money collected. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, chicken walker. There's an achievement for not firing any rockets. How much health do we have? I don't know. This is so hard to control. It's just you can't lock on. It's so strange. It's like when you go to one of those old, old arcades. Like, what is this? <laughs> It's, it's unique. Like, it's definitely... I can see what they were doing. They were trying to mix it up, give it a bit of a break from, like, the shooting of the platforming. Hey, I heard you were coming. I got your engine right here. 
All right. We should get an achievement. Yep, complete your orb with at least 100 kills. Awesome. Active fry and without firing any missiles. Back at Planet Express with the backup engine, Professor Farnsworth can now fix the ship. With the ship being fixed, we're finally leaving Earth with the reanimator. Farewell, big blue ball of idiots. In the meantime, Mum has taken over Earth and has turned the planet into a spaceship. As the Planet Express team have escaped, Mum has noticed this and isn't very happy. With the effort pursuing the team, she has realized the ship's engine isn't strong enough. Traveling to Sal and Sons, Mum's been informed the only part available to fuel the Earth ship is a dark matter engine. The only person who knows how to build this engine is Farnsworth as he created it. With offering an extremely large amount of cash to Sal, he has set up a suck beam. With Bender trying his best to keep calm, he's managed to escape the ship. Well, I'm boned. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm back, baby. Bender, you mechanical marvel! Are you there? Huh? What? Who said that? Is it God? No, though I'm as old as him. Oh, hey, Professor. What are you doing inside my head? I'm transmitting over your internal radio. Hello. Our ship is still trapped in the suck ray. We need you to find the source of the beam and disable it. What's in it for me, Bender? Uh, well... Uh... No, we'll rescue you and take you with us off this godforsaken asteroid. No deal. I've got a box of magazines with Fembot Centerfold. Roger that. Over and out. Getting to play as Bender, we make our way through the large level trying to find the power source to the suck beam keeping Planet Express from escaping Mum. We do some more collecting, fighting weird looking aliens, and well, run our patience with the platforming for this game. Oh, bro, what is this platforming? <laughs> This level! Ah, oh, I'm so done with this section. I've been stuck on it for like 15 minutes. After a short break, we're back collecting Bender's currency. At this point, this level was almost 40 minutes long and the collectibles just weren't ending. With some endurance, before I knew it, we're at the next cutscene in the story. I didn't realize how long this level was gonna be. Okay, there's the cutscene. The metal man's alive. Mm -hmm. Mommy's not gonna like that. We were faced with one of Mum's sons, Igna. This was quite easy, we just had to make our way through the terrain without dying and detonate the dynamite underneath him. If you see Mommy, tell her I killed you! Is that all? What's, what was the point? <laughs> ah, 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 Weasel Canyon, 35 kills, all nibblers collected and survived. I missed two of Bender's tokens. If I found, if I took the time, I wouldn't have had to spend another 40 minutes on this level. Man! What a long level. Moving on from that long level, we were gifted a short break from platforming and had a chase sequence, which I really enjoyed. Gotta concentrate. Uh, oh, how am I supposed to get both? No! <laughs> no! Go, 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 There's three nibblers. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, we're too slow. Oh, my finger's slipping off the controller. Pause. Reset. Go, 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 go. No, 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 Look how close we are. Oh, we need one more nibbler. Oh, no way I slid through that. Oh, where's the nibbler at? Where's the nibbler at? Go, 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 go. No, oh, I got it. Okay, cool. That was the main priority, getting all the nibblers and all the, all the robonium. Oh, we are so close. Come on. Oh, 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 go, 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 go. Come on. Come on, Bender. Oh, go, go, go. Whoa! Damn! I didn't expect so many Roboniums at the end. Oh, yes! Run Bender run, complete run bound for nibblers, collect all Roboniums in the run run bender. Run bender run. So I'm lost for words. That was stressful. After that chase sequence, we find ourselves in the mines. As expected, we have more collectibles to find and just need to navigate through the level. Speaking about collectibles, have you ever wanted your proudest Platinums or Xbox achievements displayed in physical form? Well, thanks to Ted's Collectibles, you can have your favorite Platinums and Xbox achievements collected all in one spot. Ted specializes in your Platinums and achievements to be placed into personal collectible cards for your collection. These amazing cards display the game that was completed, the amount of hours it took, the rarity of the completion, and your very own gamer ID knowing these awesome cards are yours. They're the perfect 
perfect size to have next to your collectibles, and even sleep friendly to preserve with your other cards in the collection. Ted was amazing to send over some of my recent Platinums and achievements, The Simpsons game, Wolverine, and Family Guy cards being my personal favourites. Thank you Ted for these amazing cards, they will be placed of all my games reminding me of my greatest in-game achievements. If you want to check out Ted's collectibles, head over to his store to get your own collectible cards for the collection. I've left a link in the description below. Thanks again Ted, now on with the video. Getting our way through those pesky collectibles for the level, we now find ourselves on a treadmill. Mum's son Larry has control of this and is doing whatever he can to stop us. Prepare to be crushed and subsequently smelted and then recycled into metal seatbelts! This was pretty easy and was a little unnecessary to be honest. Getting past, we actually had more difficulties with the platforming. I think I've got it down packed now. I jumped! Ah, oh, bro, the platforming for this game is shocking. But before I forget, while navigating our way through this level, we have another achievement to look out for. We can't kill any enemies as Bender in this level. I thought this was quite funny, as he's always threatening humans in the show, but never his own kind. And what a surprise! Look who's scraping up the filth! Is it a human child? I wish! This wasn't that hard, as they were some of the easier enemies in the game. What was difficult though, was the collectibles. They were placed extremely well. I actually struggled trying to get everything. We had to reset a few times, but overall the level was short and really fun. I do not want to do this level again. Alright, oh we're on safe ground. Oh, see you later. We are out of here G. Got everything for this level, hopefully. I think it is, I think that is everything. Yes, complete the mine facility without killing enemies, or nibblers, or bronium. I uh, didn't get the last one, but we got everything completed for this level. Whoa, we don't have to replay this level, man. That was, it was fun. I did enjoy it. It was a very tight level. That was good. Okay, so the next level is Red Rock Creek. Now in Red Rock Creek, this was a pretty generic level. Very similar to the last level and what we had to do. So far, these Bender levels all look the same to me. At times, I had to remind myself I was on a different level. The only thing that was different in this level was beating the timer. It was so intense. Yeah, I got everything. Cool. Honestly, we'll just skip to the next cutscene to save some time for the video. Quickly though, for some reason completing everything in this level, the game didn't reward me my achievements. A little annoying, but at least we can come back to this area. Rumble in the junkyard. Is this a boss now? Oh. You've gotten by my feeble-minded brothers. Mm. Which is good, because now I get to kill you. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this is definitely a boss. Okay, so I've got to collect everything while I'm running away from him. I just don't understand, like... How many times do I supposed to shoot it to keep repeating this process? I don't think it'll be too many times I've got to do it. So do that. Run down. Back off so we don't get the lava. Explosion. Got hit anyway. That's okay. I don't understand this boss. It's such a dumb boss, bro. Come on. Come on. Yes, finally. Such a dumb boss, bro. Good, good riddance. <laughs> Successfully defeating Mum's sons, we have stopped the suck beam and can now escape Mum's clutches. The team is now discussing what's the next plan of action to save Earth. Professor Farnsworth has reassured us he doesn't have the knowledge to help solve this problem. However, he does know someone that could help out the Planet Express team. The Professor's mentor, Adoy. The Professor explains he lives on the planet Bogad. The only problem now is having enough dark matter fuel to get there. By using the reanimator and Leela being a playable character, we can now allocate the dark matter fuel. But just before we set off, thanks to Bender, Mum has made her way onto the Planet Express ship. Hmm. I probably should have disabled her ship or something when I was down on that asteroid. Well, live and learn. Mum's explained she's here for the blueprints for the Dark Matter engine. Farnsworth has told Mum she's out of luck with the blueprints as it's all in his memory. Without hesitation, Mum has captured Farnsworth, placed his head in a jar, and have sent the rest of the crew hurtling into the sun. After discovering we're out of Dark Matter fuel, we make our way out of the ship. Being greeted by the sun people, they've offered to help us. They've offered in exchange for a full tank of Dark Matter if we defeat their evil sun god. With such a great offer, we couldn't refuse. Well, Leela anyways. Hey, where are you two going? Sorry, Leela. I'd love to help you save the sun, but I'd burn easily. And I'd melt easily, but save me my share of the reward! Entering the Sun Temple, we're greeted with a tutorial level for Leela. She has more moves than Fry and Bender in the game, so it's expected we need to try them out. We take on some awesome looking skeletons and explore the very short map. Alright, I think that's the end of the level. That was a really weird level, like a tutorial level almost. That was so strange. 
Further into the temple, we figure out some puzzles, which if you couldn't tell by my face, I'm not a big fan of puzzles in video games. A little later into the level, we find a power gem. Essentially, finding these gems and placing them into a beacon will generate a light source. We have four temples to get through with Leela, all containing a gem. Allocating all four will open the final temple where we can find the sun god. I'll save you the time on this portion of the video. These levels were insanely long and absolutely tedious. You travel to one area, do a puzzle, move to the next area to fight more enemies and repeat for every temple. Look at my face for this section, I definitely wasn't having a good time. The worst part of all these levels was this section here. You had to outrun the lava and platform to every ledge. I attempted this over and over again without any luck. The problem wasn't the platforming per se, but the controls. But I'll speak on that more later. <laughs> Why does that take longer? Ah, oh. I'm gonna go through all my lives just for this area. No way a kid was able to do this in 2003 whenever this game came out. Oh, I pre-jumped again. Oh, I'm pressing that circle button, man. That circle button is getting pressed. It's a very bad area, bro. This is disgusting. Oh, no, 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 no. come on. No. Oh, that was shocking. That is horrible. I would not wish that on Pon, my worst enemy. <laughs> Getting to the last temple of this horrible section in the game, we carry out another puzzle to what unlocks the final area to the sun god. Got one or two ways. Oh, yes, it was that one. Oh, I hate the puzzles. I'm just not a puzzle person. All right, checkpoint. So we've started the boss. Heathen, mm. I will send the sun the god. Okay. Checkpoint. What are we doing? Oh, are we dodging? All right, he's firing fireballs at us. Facing off against the sun god, it was pretty clear we had to dodge his attacks. Jumping between platforms, I realized we had these sun cubes. We had to platform around the sun god, unlocking these cubes. By placing the gems we found from each temple, this activated the sunbeam, allowing us to defeat the sun god. Look at that. All right, now we got the hang of it. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Come on, we're so close. All right, we'll go up here. Alright, that's the way. Now we get the last bit of gold, hopefully. A hundred. Huh. You wouldn't think a god could be mortally wounded. You found me out. I'm not really a god. I'm <coughs> just an ordinary, eternal, omniscient, super intelligent being. So why did you allow all those people to be killed? For their bones, of course, which I use to create my army of bone bots. Bone bots? You know, normal people make their robot armies out of metal. Yes, but my way is more evil. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Yep, 17 kills, all gold, all nibblers, active Leela. We got everything done, so we do not need to go back to that level. Leaving the Sun Temple and defeating the Sun God, we make our way back to the ship. The Sun People have thanked us for saving their planet and have gifted us our reward of Dark Matter Fuel. Showing their gratitude, they have invited us to celebrate, but the crew weren't too eager for this offer. The Temple? Yes, cherished temple, sacred center of all life on Sun. Uh, <laughs> we'd love to stay, but, uh... We've got a, 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 a thing. Yeah, that. Cheese it! Them nice people. Having more than enough dark matter fuel, we find ourselves at the corner of the universe, make our way onto the planet Bogad. So this is Bogad? Ooh, creepy, huh? Yeah, and ugly. No wonder they put it at the edge of the universe. I can't imagine what kind of disgusting, foul creatures we'll find here. Hello? Dr. Zoidberg? What are you doing here? Making a cameo. It's so nice to see you, my friends and the robot. This is so unlikely. Hey, what's that kajigger? Hmm, I'm not sure. But judging by its scales and long tongue, I'd say it's a horse. Giddy up! Yee-ha! I'm a cowboy, I am! With Zoeyberg's very exciting cameo, we have allocated a doy. 
We introduce ourselves to Adoi, explaining that the professor's head has been cut off by mum and she is now taking over the universe. Adoi shows us his latest invention, he calls it the Time Tunneler. He's given us the solution to use this time machine to travel back in time to stop mum. Or bet on horses, I know we're gonna win! So long, suckers! Ow, oh, man! I'm still here! You need to charge it first, Adoi. The power generator is over there. You can get to it along this dangerous path laden with quicksand. I know, I know, it was a terrible place to build the generator. I'm sorry. Give me a break here. But the time machine has a hand crank. Doesn't that work? Uh, sort of. If you turn the handle for two minutes, it'll send the universe two minutes back in time. So it gets us back to when we started turning the handle? Yippee! No, wait! That might be all we need to get to the generator, if one of us is fast enough. Great, another dangerous mission. Who's the sucker this time? Dr. Zoidberg. Hooray, I'm the hero. Hooray, Hooray we, we don't, don't have, have to, to do, do anything. anything. Now getting to play as Dr. Zoidberg and his uh, horse, Leela will crank the time tumbler, giving us two minutes to reach the time generator. This level is literally a crash level, even down to the music. The only thing that was different to the actual crash game was the controls. It took a lot, and I mean a lot of adjustments to get used to these controls. Every time you shift the analog stick, the game will automatically push you back, almost like rubber banding. You're probably thinking, that's not that bad. Well, it wouldn't be if we didn't have to collect every collectible on this level for this achievement. If you miss one, it will send you back to the most recent checkpoint. I missed so many on my first run. I missed one. I missed another one. I missed another one. What makes this level even worse, the developers didn't take the time to fix the issues. For example, this was the last collectible for the section, and it was locked behind the checkpoint I just went through. Oh, I do well, how am I supposed to hit that? What do you mean? It goes on the checkpoint. Oh, you far out. Oh, I can't hit that collectible. As I mentioned earlier with the rubber banding, you have to move Zoidberg into the direction you want to go with at least 4 seconds before you aim for that jump or collectible. If you don't, well the game isn't very forgiving. With many attempts and lots of patience, I managed to memorise the first section and collect everything. The only issue now is doing that for the other two sections. Which I forgot to mention, if you fail any three of these sections, the game will send you right back to the start with all that hard work reset. Poor kids. Whoever had to play this game by themselves as a child, I feel so sorry for you because it is so difficult. It would turn you off any video game. What? Oh, bro. <laughs> this level sucks. I, I am sorry, but this level absolutely stinks, dude. Look how close we were. Oh my lord, dude. By this point, after lots of complaining and many attempts, you can see by my face I wasn't having a great time. I was focusing so hard I managed to get myself to the final section. Well, that's what I thought. Oh, wait. Oh, no. What? What is that? The re reset. Oh, you even saw the timer change. Oh, this game! Speeding things along, after that ridiculous reset, we managed to get back to where we were. But now we're faced with familiarizing ourselves with this new area. Wow. What? How am I supposed to jump over that? We get we took so long to get this section. And now we're just stuck in this silly jump. It's so unforgiving. Like, the, the reset checkpoints are horribly placed. Especially for this section. And you gotta jump that. Around this time, I was probably about 40 minutes into this level. I was so frustrated, I figured I'd get to the end with all nibblers, making it easier for the next run with just collecting the fish. After a few more attempts, I had a good feeling about this run. Everything was lining up, I had the controls down, and I had heaps of time left on the clock. Come on, this is the run. This is the run, baby. We got this. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it this run. Come on, this is the run. This is the run. Nice, that was a good checkpoint. That was right in front of it. Yes, dude! Oh my god. Look how close we are. We... Come on. Come on, I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them. 16 sec... Oh, no! We reset! Oh... Oh, we can't. We can't stuff up. We can't stuff up. Don't hit anything. Don't hit anything. Oh, God. Oh, damn, bro. We were so close. Oh, I stuffed up again. Five seconds. Can we do it? Can we? No, two seconds. We had it. Oh, you're joking. Oh, we were so close. 
Ah oh man, what a joke. I absolutely fumbled the bag on that last section. I was so mad after all those attempts and almost one hour wasted. Like look at my face. That right there is the face of an unhappy gamer. Even with all our struggles, I knew I had to keep going. I was so close to finishing and I knew I had to get it done with the level being so fresh in my memory. Alright, back to where we were. Alright, we got to this checkpoint. That's a good start. This is, this is going to be the run. So, uh, yeah, about my struggles with this level, somehow during my recording, I managed to remove the audio from the rest of this recording. I was so focused, I didn't even realise. If you don't hear any sound effects or the audio seems off during the rest of this video, that's why. But the real question now is, did we end up defeating Dr. Zoeberg's level? Oh, bro, we're on a run. We're on a roll. Look at us go. We've got this. We've got this. 45 seconds. We have got this in the bag. Oh, this has taken me a whole hour, man. This is one of the worst levels I've ever done in a PlayStation 2 game. Oh, 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 look, 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 look. Oh, that's okay. 30 seconds. Good checkpoint. One more. Oh, I've already 29 seconds. That is fine. You can still see it. Oh, oh I don't care. Yes! Oh. oh, we did it. That was one of the worst levels I've ever done. In any video game, I almost broke my cord because of it. <laughs> the time tunneler is working! Fantabulistic. Now we can go back in time and fight Mom. Woo! And save the professor. Yeah, whatever. Getting the time tunneler working, the crew can now travel back in time to save the professor. So what should I do now, guys? Hello? Friends? Hello? Hello? As we make our way back to Planet Express, we crash the ship, which explains why the ship was destroyed at the start of the game. This now prompts the crew to steal the ship from the past, leaving the broken ship to be repaired by their past selves. Now, if I understand time paradoxes, we're supposed to take the good ship and leave the bad ship behind for the original us, right? The bad behind... say again? <sighs> Just get in. As the professor is about to sign the contract to sell the Planet Express company to Mum, we've managed to crash our way into the building, stopping the sale from happening. Don't sign that, Professor! We came from the future! It's a trick! You are? Once Mom gets Planet Express, she's gonna take over the Earth! And then, she's gonna turn it into a giant spaceship and take over the universe! Man, that was cool! Earth is all... <laughs> And the other planets are like, how droll. Could I talk to you three over here for a moment? A little to your left. Wonderful. With Mum sending us to the factory below, we're now faced with defeating Destructor. For the very last level of the game, it wasn't a boss fight straight away, as we had more platforming to do. We get to play as all three characters for this level. Starting off with Bender, we go through some obstacles, defeat some robots, and activate a door to the next area. We had our standard achievement for finishing the mission, but somehow I missed four enemies in the level, so I went back to get that achievement too. As for Leela's level, it was a little different. We still had to make our way through the factory. The only thing that was different was the use of key cards. We had to open certain rooms to unlock the key card, getting us access to the next room. It was a little repetitive and frustrating at times due to the achievement connected for this section. We had to attempt this level a few times, as the achievement was for completing the level in under 5 minutes. It wasn't very hard, more so memorising the level design in which order you need to open the doors. Last but not least, we have Fry as the final character for this level. We had no weapons with Fry, so we had to navigate through the level Level, figuring out puzzles and avoiding lasers. Eventually we got a pretty sweet rifle though. Blasting our way through Mum's robots, we do some light platforming and get to the final section of the game defeating Destructor. Destructor exiting target practice mode. Destructor initiating kill all humans mode! Yeah! Oh, he's restarted bro, chill. Alright, so what are we doing? We're running across. I don't understand, like do I need a key card or something? Alright, that's how you do it. Oh, give me all that health bro. Alright, now I'm getting the hang of it. Now I know what I'm doing. Good an idea. I think if we can sit inside maybe that red thing that was on his stomach, maybe we can shoot that. Come on, do your thing. Do your attack. Oh, he didn't do it. Come on. How is he not dead yet? I don't understand. Come on, bro. Surely. Oh, I got it. Yes. Finally. Oh. So, I died the way I lived. 
as a giant robot. Yeah! Nice shooting, Fry. Way to waste that evil robot. Oh, so just because a robot wants to kill humans, he must be evil? That is so prejudiced, Leela. He wanted to kill you too, Bender. Yeah? Well... You shut up! As we've defeated Destructor and Bender has now finished arguing with Leela, we cut to the other room where we see Mum's sons. Of course, seeing some flashy lights, Igna has pressed them. This has caused the reanimator to fall from the top floor, breaking into pieces. Oh no! The reanimator! Bummer. We'll just have to be careful not to die from now on. You had to say that! No! no. Ooh, damn it, Mom! No one kills my crew except for me! As the Destructor has now killed the crew, Farnsworth has now refused to sell Mum Planet Express. With the contract now being destroyed and Mum still wanting the company, she has bribed the Professor with a sombrero, which, well, now sends us back to the start of the game, causing an endless cycle. Good news, everyone! I've sold Planet Express to Mum! That's so funny how they did that. That's a good way of doing it. Finish it all up. That's funny. Act mum, and then I think we need to restart the game as Fry. Yep, there you go. Start a new game after beating Fry fights back. And then, yeah, that's pretty much that achievement there. We've still got quite a few to do, so we'll just pretty skip to that now. We do need to do a lot of cleanup. All right, now to clean up those final achievements. We didn't have many achievements left, more so traveling through certain levels with the correct amount of currency and kills. From my initial run, some achievements didn't pop as I mentioned, hence why we're replaying the levels again. I'd say this was due to the internet dropping out when finishing the level, causing the achievements not to pop. One achievement we went for that was little different was completing the last level with Fry without dying. After placing over 10 hours into the game, this was quite easy. As for something a little more difficult, we were stuck on the old New York level. I can't tell you how many times I replayed this level. Making our way through the level again, we managed to collect all the nibblers and earn every kill, giving us these achievements here. We were, however, missing one more achievement, collecting all the currency. I had so much trouble trying to find the last note, running through the level checking every nook and cranny. Still to no avail, I was stumped. I even went online to find an older guy that was written years ago. After a few more attempts, replaying the level over and over again, I went back to an area that had a very sneaky prompt to open the cabinet. This contained the last note. Thank goodness for that. This level really felt like the older days, finding everything in the game without the internet. So yeah, that's majority of the cleanup. Took some time, but we got it done, and now we can get the final achievements in the game. Alright, we will do a fresh game, just because we've already done everything. I want to make sure it's a fresh slate to get those last achievements, which I think is collect all nibblers, all the money, and then the Easter egg, which I'll be able to show you guys in a minute. All right, so skipping the tutorial, kind of tutorial, we need to open up the locker to get Leela's key card. We'll open up this. Once we go through, we need to get our first few notes. Okay, cool, we've done that. That's right, that's what we need to do. Now that we've hit the fire extinguisher and haven't taken it, we need to unlock this drawer here. This will be our third note. All right, so now we've got the three notes. We need to take the last four notes that are up here. And then once we go into this room, we go where the TV is. Make sure we don't collect those and we'll hit the TV. It's made a noise and I think that will activate the Easter egg. So we go in here. There's the Easter egg. That's so cool. That's so cool how it was like, yep, yeah, Planet Express, whack the Easter egg. It's so cool that it wasn't discovered until like a few years ago. So now we just got to go through the level collecting all the notes and the nibblers. And then we can get our uh, last two achievements, which yeah, it's been a long time coming. Very excited to get this done. Oh, there's one. Okay. And then maybe there's another one. The last one. That was the last note. Cool. Yep. That was pretty easy to miss as I get zapped. That was, uh, yeah, that was definitely pretty easy to miss. I would have not looked there if I wasn't trying to find the notes. But yeah, let's get it done. We've finished the level, the final level, the first level with all nibblers and all notes. Yep, complete Planet Express with all money and nibbler collected. I completely forgot we have one more achievement left, which is probably the easiest one to do. We just need to put in a cheat code that will disable achievements. Of course, we've left that till last because we like achievements here on this channel. All right, so let's just get the last code in. So we'll hold down L1 and R2. Down, square, triangle, down, square, triangle, circle, X, R2, circle, select. And there it is. You've entered a cheat code, all achievements paused, and 88 achievements unlocked for the Futurama video game. Man, what a fun 
game. I used to love playing this game as a kid. What a throwback. What a blast. This was such a fun game to revisit. Being able to explore the Futurama world in 3D was awesome, and the story really was from the Lost Futurama episode. We've been on a huge nostalgia kick recently, completing those older games we loved to play growing up, and we have so many more to revisit on this channel too, so stick around. Now that we've completed Futurama, what game should we play next? Well, maybe another classic PlayStation 2 game that was more popular than the Futurama game. You already know what I'm talking about. If you'd love to see me cover the Simpsons hit and run and earn every achievement, leave a like. If we we can get this video to 200 likes, I'll make sure it's the next video I cover in this new series. In the meantime, if you loved watching me cover the Futurama game while completing achievements and want to watch a similar video, check out this video here. Until next time, stay safe out there and look after yourselves. I'll see you all in the next video. Told me that you never lie.